So what is a trace back in Python? Well, essentially it's this, but what is all of this? So all of this is essentially the route your program took until it crashed. And so in our case, what I've done is I have this set up this where I, or this program set up where I call this function called bad function. And the reason is, is because it spits out this error, right? Um, we get a division by zero because in this function I call the print and I do five divided by zero, which we all know is a big no, no, when you do math, right? You don't divide by zero. And so what the trace back is doing is it'll basically show you the route you took until you failed. And so what it does is it'll go the first line. It says, Hey, um, in this file, in this moment, module of you you know we call bad function which then it says now on in this file so it's still the same file in line four in bad function print five you know print five dot by zero and then it tells us the error division by zero um, so it's saying right, right here in this line is where we get our division by zero error, which we know in this case. But if you didn't know why your, your why your uh, function was failing, is the nice thing is is you can read what files are producing the errors. Now sometimes your program may crash in a module or a package that you did not write, um, and that's probably because for whatever reason we fed it bad data or we fed it fed it, uh, fed it bad information, which is not what that module or um, package expected, which caused it to crash. And from those you can. And then interpret oh yeah okay i see it's you know whatever the error is and then you kind of loop back up until you get to your code now in our instance we just have a simple piece of code that just says yep here's a division by zero we go up to our code there's the line and just like that so the traceback is basically the set of calls that leads you down the path to for leads you from the error all the way up to um the, the most relevant basically series of uh, calls in your script or program that cause the uh, program or script to, to fail um, these are really helpful. You'll see these a ton in your program journey. I see these every day. Um, and some are easy to figure out and figure out why they failed. Um, like for instance, I can say something like, um, we can do this. So if I do this, I said it did print wrong and I run this, here's another traceback. This is now saying that error name, pr the name of print is not defined. And then you go look up and you're like, oh yeah, I go up to the next line says, yep, this is in my function or this is in my code. Line seven, there's line seven. Oh yeah, I, I named print wrong. So let me just go fix that. Now I can go here and now this says back to the original case that we had. So you'll deal with tracebacks a lot. Remember just to start from the bottom, figure out where it is. And then what I like to do is, especially if you're using other modules is go up to where your code where the your the code that you're writing and interfacing with other modules begins, and then you can see why um, you know your program failed and what may have caused that. And so in our case, like this it tells us this is the line line four, and it's because division is zero. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Until next time, keep on programming.